Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. It is lovely to have you here. Well, we're getting very close to the end of this memory keepsake journal where we are storing all our family um, memories and pictures inside this journal that we've been making. And today um, I want to put the cover together and I'm going to see how far we get after that. Hopefully I can get you showing you how to um, sew in the signatures, although you pretty much know how to do that. But I'm going to take you along the journey and see how far we get today. So I hope you're all feeling well um, and rested. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Um, I most definitely am. <laughs> and let's have some crafting time. So I'm going to talk you through a few things. Um, some of these things I have covered in the first episode of the Purple Passion um, Mystery Project. But we do have the playlist. So anything you haven't done, you are able to go back and have a look there. All right. So a couple of things you're going to need. Um, as you know, there were a couple of projects that we did. This was the one page pocket flip um and that's for able that's going to go on the inside pocket here when we cover it um we also did um let's make ephemera from a lunch bag so we did that one and and that one is a, one that you need to do as well that's also in the playlist then we did exciting envelope five this is going to go into the back of the part of the journal so you're going to want to use uh, make that if you haven't done that already okay so that's at the back so those are the three projects I'm just going to put those to the side for the moment um, then we want to have a piece of paper to cover the actual um, side of the the journal let me take these out the way here so you've got um, the cover that we did the dimensions of in our first video um, so if you're not sure what those are you can go and have a look there then we had um, a bigger envelope this is like an A4 size it's bigger than an A4 um, I gave you the dimensions for that and that folded and we did our first layout on the inside of that and the, the, the back we haven't quite done the layout yet but we'll get to that that's easy enough all right, so you've got that on, on the inside there. Now, this whole lot fits together, um, and we're going to put it into this cover here. Now, we're using a manila folder, but any kind of cardboard that you have, even a cereal box, if you means you've got to join it, um, you know, go and look and see what you have. Um, so that's the, the other thing. All right, now, what I want to do is I'm going to take this bit out, which is the bit that we've been working on. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, I have got some fabric here, um, so I'm going to use some fabric, which I showed you in the beginning. This is uh, Vintage Laura Ashley. I think it's called, I did tell you what it's called, but um, I think it was Cyclamen, was it? It looks like tulips, but <laughs> somebody said to me, but it was called Cyclamen. Um, so I'm going to just put this, I've cut it to size here, so I've got about an inch around all the borders and we want to just stick that straight down and I'm going to speed this up. You get, um, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the Beacon 3-in-1. Um, this is great for sticking down card onto fabric. Um, just a few little pointers. Um, fabric tack, very similar kind of thing, made by the same company whatever it is you normally stick down your fabric with all right so um just uh use what you would normally stick your fabric down with um probably tacky glue or one of those works as well even art glitter glue works to be honest but you know right so something you want to note here is this fabric is a type of an upholstery fabric um so it is fairly thick when you put your glue on I tend to do it one panel at a, side, at a time. I tend to work with the back one first. So I'm going to put glue on here, but you don't want to make it too thick. You might want to use a brush just to smooth it or your fingers. I'll probably end up using my fingers. I'm not using the fine nozzle with this because it'll take forever to come out. I'm going to use it directly from this bottle here. So I'm just going to use it straight from there and put it on there. And if I see any bits that are too thick, I'm going to smooth them with my finger or the brush to try and make it as, as even as I possibly can. So I would start off and I'm just going to show you the one side and then you can watch me in a sp um, you know, as it's sp um, sped up. I'm going to put it on this side here. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure you've got it in the right spot. Now that might require that you, you feel com more comfortable using some clips. 
um, I don't normally use clips, but you could actually fold that and clip it in place. Um, but as long as you're happy with where it is, um, then I'm going to just fold it down there. So we've got the first section and this is going to make it easy just for me to um, start putting this glue on. Right now, as I said, I don't want it to seep through the fabric. So I am going to be quite mindful of how much I put on. Um, and I might end up using my brush or my fingers in a minute just to get that um, even. So that's the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you don't make it too gloopy. Um, right. So I've got that all down there like that. Um, let's try it with a brush. Um, it does make it a bit um, smeary. But, you know, that's that's sort of what I want. All right, I don't want it to... I've got a few bits here that I just want to... If you keep the nozzle pretty flat to the to the thing, you know, it, it, it tends to work. All right, so I've got this in place now. I just want to make sure I've lined it up here. Um, and now I'm going to just fold that back down onto the fabric itself. So, oh, I've got a little bit over, so I want to just pull that that way. Okay, and then I'm going to just run my hand over it like that. What's underneath here? Nothing. Nothing. Something? No, I think it's just underneath. Yeah, it's a little pearl. All right, so just put that like that. Then I just turn it over. I've got fluff and all sorts going on here. And I just smooth it out with my hand. You can do that with a bone folder, but hands are great for this. All right, so we've got that nice and smooth. There's no glue shining through, and it's pretty much stuck there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get it up on the loose side. So we've got it back there. I'm going to do the spine bit now, so I hope you can see that. Just make it flat. And I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure I've got quite a lot of glue especially on the edges and I'll show you what I do when I come to the edge of the spine because you want to make sure it sticks down I tend to run a little bead of glue just on the edge there like that all right just make sure this is nice and fingers are better than brushes for this if I'm honest right um and then we can hold the, the fabric straight and get that bit stuck down there like that right one thing you want to make sure is if your um, fabric is directional make sure that you do actually have that um, going the right way <laughs> when you put the whole thing together so that's important well, just hold that nice and smoothly just position it there we go, flip it over and just smooth that all out. Oops, sorry. Okay. Now at this point, if you're wanting to stitch or stitch around the edges, you can do so, but I'm not going to do that. I'm quite, I don't normally do that. So we're not going to need to cut into any sections here really, although you could do. But I'm going to then just stick this right down with my fabric tack. So um, the only thing I need to cut are the corners. So I'm going to do that. Let's just put the lid on there for the moment. So you want to just cut this um, not to the corner just a little bit away so you want to go like that and another angle on all four sides i'm happy with that what i want to do now is i want to just put some um, masking tape down before i uh, glue that down this is just a little bit of reinforcement which I like to do and masking tape is a great way to do that so I'm just going to get it um, up to the top there this is just an inch wide which is the the measurement of our spine it's just short of a it's just three quarters of an inch actually so I'm just going to tear that off all right so there we go and um, we've got that in place now we can go and stick all of this down um, so let's do that so I'll just do the one side here 
and then um, we will speed it up. So the first thing I'd, I'd do is uh, just get this um, underneath there on the edge and then I just sort of put a bit of glue going along here. I'm not too worried about the gloopiness here because we will cover a large section of this with paper but so it doesn't matter if it comes through. So I'm not as fussed as I am with the other sections. Right, so we can now um, move that up and stick it down. Any areas that you find aren't quite stuck, put some more glue down. Your bone folder, just to give that a nice firm air edge. Right, now the tricky bit comes when you want to make nice sharp corners. So as as you do, you this gets messy now. So <laughs> we need to glue all of this area uh, pretty well, first of all. Um, and I'd keep a wet wipe on hand if I were you, um, because <laughs> it does get glue all over your fingers. So I'm just getting a lot of glue on this flap here now, and especially into that corner area there and there all right and now what you want to do is let's start here so you want to oh, I think it's easier here so what you want to do is a nice clean corner so you want to just get this bent down like that slightly over and then you want to get that bent over like that all right, so it does look the greatest, um, except that I would use my bone folder just to maneuver that corner like that. This is just a case of trial and error, and this is where those little quilting clippy things are useful because I like to put one right on there and they're strong. They flatten that nicely, and the same here. So you want to Get that in with your, your finger. It's easier for me to do it this way. So you want to get that in with your finger. Just get it nice and flat there. And then you want to get that over. Again like that. And before that, just run your bone folder in there. Just to get that nice and flat. And then you can just pull it over and stick it down. Right, so just get that in there with the bone fold and make it nice and smooth. I think that's the most difficult part is getting the, the corners nice and sharp, you know. So, and then let's just run that over there like that. So with this one, it's not the greatest corner. So I'm just going to, you've got to play around with these things sometimes needs a bit more glue that's what it is All right so I've got that there press it nice and flat with the bone folder um, and then just make sure you've got enough glue on the edges here keep that nice and firmly flat okay and here needs a, a bit more glue so just put some more glue in there and work that nice and flat okay i don't know why i'm cutting off these bits i think i just want to pull that a little bit straighter like that that is nice and flat but it's just the, the flappy bit here <laughs> all right that's better okay so one down one side to go all right so you can see these are coming along pretty well all right just keep that there just to keep it flat and then we'll do this side
Okay, so we have now got that all sorted and there we have a nice a fabric cover on this soft covered journal so it's as simple as that really now as i said if you're wanting to sew around the edges this is the time to do it before you stick your paper on all right so that's the first thing and now we can just put that aside what i will say is while i'm um, just waiting for this to dry is that you're going to need to cut a little bit of a spine here so what i've done is i have cut a piece of paper and um, where's my ruler um, this is from my collage paper. Um, I've cut it two inches wide or five centimeters and I've cut it the length of the papers I'm going to put on either side here. So that is for me uh, 24 centimeters or nine and one, two, hmm, just short of nine and a half inches. All right, so that's what that's going to be there. And you can see I've just cut it so that I've got about a, an eighth of an inch or so on either side there, or just like a third of a centimeter. Okay, so what I've done then is I have measured the two centimeters in the middle there. So just short of two, um, two centimeters. So we're looking at uh, 1.8 centimeters or one and a quarter inches all right i've scored there so i've got um the center bit there so this is two it's sorry two inches then i've scored at hmm six three quarters and i think just i've left that one and three quarters and then a little bit there all right so it doesn't really matter how long the sides are just as long as you've got um, a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the size here right so I've scored that there um, and I've stuck some masking tape on the back and that's just to reinforce it um, as a little spine so I'm going to stick that um, down here eventually when we've sewn all our signatures together now what I've done is either side here you'll need some paper I'm using this which is from my collage pages I will be sticking this over here and another one on the back over here all right so this let me just talk you through how i did this um these are fitting over these pages here and as you can see it will be the measurement less um, an eighth of an inch around each side um, and when you fit this here let me just get the place for it there line it up it does need to um, overlap this slightly like that right so you want it to be like that so you're just lapping it over there all right on each side you could make these longer probably better all right so we'll have two of those um so just measure that there like that that's going to end up going like this all right, and you've put some masking tape on here. This is 160 GSM paper, 60 pound weight. That's what I've used. Um, if you wanted to use thicker paper, you're welcome to. If you're going to use scrapbook paper, that would work as well. Right, those are just going to cover up those bits there when we are finished. Now, um, for this particular one, um, I want to stick um, this in uh, here and... I am considering um, making a pocket here of lace. If you are going to do that, you want to sew that lace pocket on here to house this. Otherwise, you don't need to. You can just stick that down on all sides and stick it down there and then have it like that. But if you're wanting to, it to be removable because we have got it like that on the back, it's up to you how you want to use that there. Or you don't have to put it in at all i mean that's up to you all right so um that's the idea there so those are those are the sheets of paper these sheets of paper for mine are measuring um 9.1 and three eighths of an inch this way and 24 centimeters and this way is 15.7 centimeters or this way it is six and a quarter inches so I've got two of those 
all right so that's that's what you need to do there um, this will be uh, we'll stick these things in last um, what you want to do now is we want to stick in the uh, sew in our signatures into our book and also um, into our spine here all right so that's what I suggest that we do so um, you're going to want to take the signatures we made last time I'm going to put this to the side here quickly um, that's drying and now you can go and get your actual book bit back all right so what we're going to be doing is um, we are going to have two sections here that have um, signatures in so I'm going to be putting it in this one so this one will be going in here like that and then um, this one will be going in here like that all right so that's how it's going to be now um these all have the pages from that kit and we talked about that we i've added in those bits that we made as well so they are looking lovely um and with these mixed media pages that we did as well all right i will eventually add bits in here and i'll talk that through when we do do the flip through at the very end all right so that's going to go into this one and um, this is going to go into this one all right we've sewed into that seam over there right so um first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you line this all up now i'm going to just um clip this down here this is um part of another page we still need to decorate but what you remember we put some um masking tape there so that's fine and you want to <clears throat> excuse me you want to just match up that the fold lines here match up the fold lines here so that's going to be something that's going to be pretty tricky um but we can do this okay so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you how i'm going to go about sewing these signatures in now what i've done is i've got my little spiny thing and i've taken this piece of piece of card and i've shown you how to do this before this is from the last time i sewed in a signature um folded in half what i do is um, i make it the length of my signature like that so it's the length folded in half and then what i do is i measure a centimeter from the top a centimeter from there as long as it's a consistent measurement it doesn't matter what measurements we're using inches or centimeters all right so that's what i do there i find the middle point of the length of the page so that's there that's the halfway mark and then i find the halfway mark between the mark i've made there and the mark i've made there make a hole and the same there all right so that's my little template now I've made top here so that you are consistent where you're making your holes. Now, what I want to do is I want to sew in the one signature and that's going to go into here. So what I'm going to do is because this is longer than this, we need to just make sure that we have this um, evenly spaced. So that's something you need to remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm just having a look here, making sure that I have positioned this template with the same amount of space there as I have there. And I'm just eyeballing it, right? Then you want to um, get your pencil, um, hold this in place, and then remember to keep this at the top and make a little pencil mark through the holes in between where these two envelopes are meeting, okay? So that's what we want to do there and we can take that off now you can see where they are with your pencil and you can see exactly where they need to be because you can see the envelopes fold line right there okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get this all lined up nicely and i will use my clip here just to keep that together and one on this side here as well so i'm just making sure that my envelope is all in the fold line here let's just take this flappy bit off which is the belly band we haven't made yet um so i'm getting making sure that these are all matching up here before i start to make physical holes in this 
we'll just put that over there all right so now this is where we were going to do that and i can see those holes i'm going to just take my piece of foam my pokey tool um everything's looking like it should do hold that to the side and then just press those holes right through where you've drawn them like that okay and there's one more all right so you've got that in place now now what you need to do is do the same on your signature itself so i'm going to take my signature i'm going to just put those smaller clips on it so because there's not much in here it's easy so um it's just the papers themselves so i'm just keeping them together we can now put our template make sure that you've got this in the correct way make sure that it says top at the top and just rest that into the middle there and then just move your clips to where this needs to be so we've got one there like that oops around the papers angela and there all right so we've got that in place now and again you're going to just make your holes where the holes are on your template see templates are amazing so we're just going to do that like that now you've got these holes marrying up with these holes all right so you can take this template off here now leave the clips on just so the pages stay where you want them um, and you can move that all out the way so this is now ready to go into the book here um, and then you also need your little spine. And now the little spine, I've drawn a center line in between the two fold lines there. So I've got a, a pencil line straight across there. I've also laid this with top on the top. So I think it's like this. Let me just make sure. Uh, there, 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 and there, right? Again, I've had to just equalize the gap between the two. I clipped it in place and just drew my pencil lines where those holes were. And again, I'm just going to take this little foam piece and I'm going to press that through just the left hand side of the actual spine. I'm just looking <laughs> where I've made these marks. I hope that's right. I think so. Let's see yeah so now comes the tricky bit and i'm only going to show you this once and then you guys can um get on with uh following that for both sides so we want to get this in place and um you can't really clip it there so what you want to do is just push this through the middle and i'm trying to clip the, the string here now the string i sort of work three times the length of my signature make sure you've got it the right way up that's step number one and then you're going to put this through here and we've got three layers to go through we've got this signature we've got the envelopes we're working on here all right so just give that a little pull um, and now you want to make sure that you've got this uh, as well and you want to go into the first one not the one at the bottom there in the middle um so this is going to be tricky but you can do this all right now you want to come up in the second one this one here not the below one but the the one at the back so come from the um top here gotta keep my wits about me so i'm telling you the right stuff <laughs> And then um, we're going to do the five pamphlet stitch, which you've seen me do before. So I want to go into this one. And come on. There we go. Like that. Just got two strings here, so I just need to separate them. There we go. And then we want to come into the second one here. So that was easy. Okay, let's get it. All right, just give a little pull. Now we're going to go to the top one. 
And we can see the bottom one there go straight through and then the top hole there as well. So let's just pull that through and just give it a little pull so it's quite firm. All right, so we've got it there. We want to go back into this one here. Now it's going to get more and more awkward as we go, but just keep your wits about you. Be patient. Um, so we've got that one coming through there and hopefully um, through our signatures. So it's through there. I just need to get it through the signature now. Difficult when you can't get your head around it. There we go. All right. Now I've just twisted this a little bit. So I just want to loosen that there and... That's my middle string, so I want to just give that a bit of a pull, and that one too. All right, so we're not going to go to the middle hole now, one further down, like that. And I've got it through there, I can see that hole, and I want to get that through, and then I want to get it into this hole here at the bottom, push it right through. Okay, give it a little tug. There we go. And then again, turn it all over. We want to get it through this one here. Remember, you're doing them all along the top there. So get it through there. Once you've got it through there, get it through this one here. Wish I can hardly see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Rub it through the envelopes, I think. Remember, if you can't, um, you can always just pull the needle off, stick it through where you need it to be. So let's just go right through the whole lot. I've got it through there. I've got it through there. Um, and if you do it this way, sometimes that's the easier way. And then um, get it through those bottom ones. So I've got it through all three now. There we come on. There we go. So now I've got it. Now it's easy. See, give that a little tug again. Right, almost there. I'm going to do this through there. Hopefully that went to what it did. So I want to just get that back through. I hope you can see what I'm doing, guys. I know it's very awkward. And then we're going to go back into the center hole again. So probably best to put it through this way. So I'm going to just pull that one there. Um, that's on my starting string. I'm going to push. Oh, my hand's gone dead. <laughs> Doesn't help, does it? Um, so I'm going to go through there. I've got it through there. And then it's just a case of. There we go. All right, give those a little tug. Make sure that um, these that one's pretty loose, so I need to just see why that is. And there we go, so I can just see where the loose bit is. Let's try now. There we go, much tighter. Give it a little tug. And then we can just tie our strings together there. I'm going to just leave it as a little bit of a bow and I can come back to that when um, I'm finished. All right, so there's the one. All right, so we've got that one in now. I can take those off. Um, there we go. That one's in. So perfect. I've got that the right way, have I? Yes, that's a relief, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so we've got that one in. So I'm going to do the same now uh, for this one here. All right, so I will probably not do this on camera. It is far easier for me not to do this on camera. 
right everybody so i got the other one sewn in if you've got to this point and you haven't had frayed nerves you should give yourself a pat on the back because that was quite trying <laughs> to say the least all right so i've got that signature in here i've just tied a bow here with the strings so that's nicely fitting in there nicely and matching beautifully and then on this side i've got the other signature in here as well and then everything else um, is looking good so i can um, show you that it's tight and i ended up actually going into the same holes which is fine because it's on the center line and i'm not worried about that um and you can see that's that's sort of the whole journal there at the moment um and need to give it a bit of a a bend and a pull and whatever just to get the pages you know comfortable lying against each other so that's where we are there right now we want to stick this down into there then we're going to put these side bits on but before that i want to just do something to the front of that so if you're going to want to put anything that requires brads or anything um, on the front of your journal this is the time to do it um what i am going to do is because it's vintage i quite like that that look there that's going nicely i am going to put a plate on here so what i've done is i've got um a tim holtz one of these tim holtz frames i'll put it to the side to show you you can find these on my amazon favorite lists this is what they are they're called ornate plates i like to use these a lot they got different colors um so there's six book plates with little brads in there as well and then all i did was um, I took a, which is stuck behind you, I took a piece of my little doily kit, you can use tea stain paper, um, I put this over here, um, I ran my, my pencil line around the oval just to give me a pencil mark of the size of the frame, then I've just taken my little stamping set, um, this is also on my Amazon um, list, favourite tools, and i do like these and then um it's just fallen off here now but uh these clip together nicely so it's just a one stamp thing i've put family on mine you can put memories you could put journal you could put whatever you want i've just used my archival ink uh, potting soil stamped that on there and um that is how i got to that there all right so i'm going to stick that onto this here before i put anything else um into the journal so again i'm just going to open this up i'm going to position it here i think this is the right place for it um and i've got two little brads that come in that set like this uh, the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to use this <laughs> my little foam pad which i use for a lot of different things um and then what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to use my let's use our the fabric you know the three in ones this has just got a finer nozzle so i'm going to use this one here i'm going to glue this in places first before i start to put the brads down um so i'm going to just put some glue just to make sure it doesn't move you know even though the brads will be going on it i tend to just put the glue on first um and then get this where I want it so I think it's going to be here I just want to line that up straight I think that's about it pretty much yeah now you can decorate yours as much or as little as you want right so that's going to just go where it needs to then I'm going to just take my um put this underneath and then oh, it needs to go this way um just going to take my pokey tool and the holes that are on the actual frame i'm just gonna push that through just give it a bit of a wiggle so the holes are quite big and then i've got these little brads that come in with the set as i said um you want to now just get those through those holes there um like that you want to just turn that over and then try and split these as close to the bottom so that you can make this as flat as you possibly can. All right, so just like that. Okay, now we are gonna put paper on here, but just to make sure that this is not gonna press through and make a hole in the paper, 
I am going to just um, cut a, a bit of my masking tape. You can use washi tape, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to just take a bit and stick this over each one of these. Um, it's just to make sure it doesn't make a hole and wear a hole into the paper that's going to go over this. And that's the only reason I'm doing it. Right, so just take my um, bone folder now and just make it as flat as I possibly can. All right, so there we go. It is pretty flat, just like that. And there's that on the front, never to move. All right, so there we have that. That's done, and I'm happy with all of that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this will end up going onto each side. So I think um, one is going to go here and the other one is going to go here like that and slightly in, but we're going to put our spine in now. Right. Now what you could do is, and it might be easier, you can actually stick these bits that are going to go onto these these envelope bits over here. You can do that now. Okay, so I have stuck on the piece that goes here. Again, one of my cabinet car, um, cab collage pages. And then I've stuck just an invoice page on the back here. We are gonna put a belly band on here. Um, so what I want to do now is, is get this stuck down onto here. Now, try and use, um, either two sheets of paper here um, you want to make this pretty thick um, you can even back it onto some other card um, or stick some other uh, card just in that one inch or that width over there um, but with the the masking tape and everything and the paper that's pretty thick don't go and use copier paper to do this that's not going to work all right so what you want to do now is you want to turn this upside down um, and you want to run glue um, quite thick uh, all over the back here. Um, just in, first of all, within that um, area. Uh, all right, so there we have it. It's like really thick now. Now you've got this all in place. You want to, this is the tricky bit, you want to make sure that you get those bits there in the middle of that bit there. All right, oops. So I will try and fold it up on the one side just to give you an idea of where you need to get it. And you also need to be mindful of the top and, um, you know, of the two sides of your actual journal itself. Now what I would do is, is fold it up and then you can push it into the, the area it needs to be so if you fold it up like that you can see it's going to fit in there um, and then just check that side as well all right so you've got that there just run your fingers be mindful of this edge and that top edge as well um, and then the side get that stuck down like that just keep running your fingers over it okay that looks pretty solid all right so I just needed to move that and I'm just checking because it's a soft cover you've got some leniency but that looks pretty well on both sides they're pretty well done okay um, right so now um, you can leave that to dry a little bit um, and this is when you need an extra pair of hands so I want to hold this up at the moment um, trying to hold that up and I'll, I'll <laughs> now I want to um, stick down a piece over here like that um, um, make sure that the edges, the borders around there are similar on both sides and you're matching it up with these borders there. All right. Okay, so I think I'm not going to put a pocket in this one. I think it's making it all just too a little bit more bulky. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these down. So.
Okay, so I put glue all over this one and the same thing will apply. I just need to line it up with this one here and this one at the bottom right to the edges. Any edges that aren't stuck down, we can stick down. All right, so um, what, what I will do while um, before I come and see you again is I'm going to take the paper bag one and I'm going to make that a pocket and I will stick that down on three sides here. So that's going to go over there. Then um, this one where it's the one page flip out pocket, you saw me do this one. I'm going to stick that down over there full. So I'm not going to have a pocket here. I think I've got enough pockets, so I will just centralize that there like that. So I'll stick that down. Everything's fine here. Um, I'm going to put a, a few bits and bobs, and I'll, I'll when I do the flip through, I will um, show you what I'm going to do there. Nothing fancy. Um, we've got lots of writing space to document family history and things. And then at the back here, um, I will probably just stick that one down um as well and then um we'll make it i'll make a little belly band just decorate that up so that you've got another space to keep documents and things there all right so i'm going to um love and leave you here at the moment we've got lots done today we've got this all together um and i'll get those stuck down um i'm going to leave this to dry nice and flat like that so it's all um does its thing and then i will get a lovely um lovely kind of ribbon or or fabric thing and then we'll tie it together and then we'll have a lovely keepsake journal and how lovely is that gonna look all right everybody thank you so much for spending time with me today i hope you've enjoyed it um we are so close to the end i want to get this done in the next few days so probably get an extra video or so um, so that we can get on to our very next project. I do love this cover and this fabric is absolutely stunning. Um, go and have a look and see if you've got any vintage fabric that you can use for your family keepsake. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all very soon so that we can get the last few bits done. So have a lovely weekend and I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.